Hey guys, my name is Dan. I'm a veterinarian. And today, I want to go over some of the most common symptoms of allergies in the doggy. Being that it is fall now, we're moving right out of summer, I see a ton of allergies in the veterinary clinic. Now, I'm going to mention a couple things that really tip me off that it's allergies. With that being said, you can have other things that cause these symptoms too, but allergies, environmental allergies, seasonal allergies are really common. The first one I tend to think of would be feet licking and chewing. And they may lick and chew all their feet, and they may do it all day long or basically at nighttime when they come in after playing outside. Feet licking and chewing will cause redness between the toes. Also, you may see fur loss or alopecia on the toes too. Second would be a lot of doggies will get ear infections. It may not be a full-blown, you know, bacteria or yeast ear infection at this point yet, but their ears will be red, like the pinnas, the floppy part of the ear, and deep into the canal, into the uh, vertical and horizontal canal down to the eardrum, it will all be red and really irritated. A lot of clients will come in and say, Dr. Dan, my dog has an ear infection. I look down there and I see a lot of redness, just redness, and a lot of head shaking. I'm usually thinking this probably started as an allergy allergy and yes ear meds will help but most of our ear meds have steroids in them which will control the allergy so we had feet and we have ears the third one will be discharge on the eyes like goopy green discharge or the scleras of the eyes are really red as well some people will probably notice some fur loss around the eyes too of course, the veterinarian is going to look for a corneal ulcer or a scratch. They may use some other tests too for the eyes, but if all these tests come back normal, guys, there's a good chance it's allergies. And if you have all three of these together, feet, ears, and eyes, my goodness, you have an itchy, allergy-based dog. So what does a veterinarian do? A veterinarian may prescribe some antihistamines like Benadryl or Zyrtec. These are commonly prescribed. In my medical opinion, antihistamines are not great but they can be given and they can be helpful sometimes. Veterinarians will also probably prescribe other medications like allergy shots. Uh, they're really common. Now, they're not steroids, they're allergy shots. As well, some of them will prescribe other meds like Apoquil, which is an allergy med. Now, I'm not recommending Apoquil to anybody here, but if your veterinarian recommends it to you, it is a good option for allergies. Sometimes, guys, you just need to give meds or allergy shots during the seasonality of the allergies. And once you get to winter, or depending on where you are, it could be year-round, sometimes these allergies will fade away, and you can give less or none. Remember, guys, the goal is to give the, the least amount of meds for the best results. So making sure you don't overdo it, but you get the results that you want. I hope you guys' dogs are not too itchy and they're comfortable, go to your veterinarian, get them checked out, confirm its allergies, and then treat them seasonally if you can. I have some people I tell them, just call me seasonally. I know you guys, and we will give you something seasonally to make sure these allergies stay away. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope this was crazy helpful. You guys have a great day. Hope your kitties and doggies are happy and healthy. Take care.